It has to come from Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandes. Yeah, they've kept them anchoring the midfield. They've taken a fair bit of criticism, largely, I think, centred around the size of the fees of the two players involved, both over £100 million. So you expect a lot for your money. To be fair to Chelsea, they were pretty good over the 90 minutes in the Carabao Cup final, just as they were pretty good the week before in drawing away to Manchester City. They were not so good in extra time, rather called off the dogs and paid the penalty for that with Verde's for second place in the championship involving uh, themselves and Southampton and in the all blue at Stamford Bridge and Leeds in a change outfit tonight of all pink left out here. Here's Raheem Sterling for Chelsea. Chelsea have been under the last few days, we're trying to press them quite high up the pitch, press them with energy, that's to get hold of the ball. Injury since early December, being kept out of the side by uh, George Petrovic and Dan James, one of the fastest players around, attacking Sanchez, who's getting his first game after injury since early December, being kept out of the... ...as well, to be fair. Here's Matt Wake. It's Liverpool and Wolves, they just can't get a run together. Pochettino left out Cole Palmer, such a key player for Chelsea in a game really that's kind of must win. Famously at Leeds taking them up the last time. They did survive three seasons before they came down again. Mudrick, good ball to Sterling who made a mess of the cross. A terrible first touchdown from Raheem Sterling, he's better than that. It was a good little move, clever little chip ball there from Mikhailo Mudrik, he should have took it in his stride. Madweke, looking to work that onto his left foot. Thought it was too, Gilchrist has got work to do here. Dan James, big chance, not taken. Goalkeeper off his line. And Chelsea made a real mess of that. Well, Alfie Gilchrist has had a very nervy start to the game. A routine ball, Dan James should score. And Leeds United have scored. Matteo Joseph coming into the side tonight, only 20. And he catches out the Chelsea defence, and you have to say, he catches out the cameraman as well. Well, what a nightmare start this is for Chelsea and Pochettino. Brilliant from Daniel Farker's side. They've had a couple of warnings, Chelsea. They survived a the scare there from Dan James. They're going to try and play it from the back. It's not a great ball that into Caicedo from Fernandez wide to Sterling here. They've got the block in Enzo Fernandez. It opened up for him. The finish was a disappointment. Snatched at it. Pulled it massively there. Enzo Fernandez. He's trying to hit across it. He's trying to hit it with a bit of gut spin. Raheem Sterling he wants to get on it. Sterling. Chipping in towards the back post. The junior fair poke and afford to just let that run. He got a shout from his goalkeeper, I fancy. Yeah, you say be brave in these scenarios, it's not flying into 50-50 tackles. You're at home, inside 10 minutes, you're 1-0 down to your arch-rivals. Spreading the play. And they pick up the free kick for Chelsea. Nice build-up here, Jackson. Acute angle, back goal. Jackson strikes, Chelsea a level. Exactly what they needed, and that was the strike of a predator. And that was a good team move. And Moises Caicedo was involved. And that's what they have to do, Chelsea. Get on the ball, get on one or two touch, pass and move. It might look pretty basic, but I think this is a real good team goal. It was well worked. The passing was slick. Again. And does get the free kick again. That was a bit more arguable. Yeah, you see that ball though from Cock. Gotta say though, if you are going to be prolific, you've got to take a shot on yourself there. He was only on the edge of the box there. And through their musical repertoire, as Dizazi tries a out of the normal first choice lineup in the. Uh, that was a year ago today. Knocked out in the fifth round. Only a moment. Dan James had made a run into the window. Piro, the striker. I think if they weren't losers, Chelsea, I think it puts Pochettino under a little bit of pressure. 
We've got some big games coming up as well. Brentford, Newcastle, Arsenal. Mudrick. Chelsea looking an increasing threat. Melier kept it out. Well, that's where he does his best work, Mudrick. In wider areas, taking players on. Spread by Ampadu. Here's Roberts for Leeds United. The race and a great story going on in Germany. And we've got it covered for you on ESPN+. Plus. I'll be watching that because... It's a not a good clearance. Enzo Fernandez from distance. The goalkeeper needed two attempts, but uh, Melier got there in the end. Yeah, prone to a mistake or two over the years. Midweek is upset about not going to Arsenal, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Probably something to keep quiet about that, isn't it? Yeah. When, you're, when you're a Chelsea player and they paid 88, 88 and a half million pounds. Well documented, but how many players are going to stay in and around the first team next season? Because clearly some of them are not ready to try to compete. Don't mention Blue. <laughs> Let's hope we never see blue cards. Can't rule it out, can you? He had a couple of little games, what, at 15 16, didn't he? The talent is in there. They are the two that are probably guaranteed to start next season. The red. Good work from him. Is there an end product to just heavy touch, just allowed leads to get the challenge in? That's exactly right. I think he's first initial bit of skill, but... Madweke, he's got a chance here! And into the side netting. Should do better, because Conor Roberts pulled that 50. Mudrick with the corner. Malagusto. Cut back, oh, it's a lovely finish from Mudrick. Took that beautifully, that wasn't easy. Technically, top class. From Michaelo Mudrick, big goal, Chelsea lead. Well, that is one of the very best strikes, technique-wise. That is not an easy skill for Michaelo Mudrick. The way he controls the finish, he doesn't lash at it. He watches it come across onto his right foot. It's all about... In the second half. For Anthony. Towards that back post, big chance, Joseph, 2-2. Two -two. He's there again, the youngster who'd only ever scored in the Football League trophy before tonight for Leeds United, has got two here at Stamford Bridge. Good looking ball in, and an opportunity and a goal! Chelsea get their winner, it's Conor Gallagher! Right on time! Really positive piece of play by Fernandes. <laughs> My people, uh -huh. I just want motivate to that small. Please. You see this life, so uh -huh. he will fight and run away, live to fight another day. Oh. He will fight and run away, live to fight another day. If they're going to kill me for that, they want to fight to go. Which time will come and go fight the river?